Hey guys, it's Clyde. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I did a lot of studying over the weekend, went to a few shows. I had to go to a memorial for a friend of mine who passed away. Um, just a lot of things kept me busy uh, looking, though, into the Olympics. And uh, I actually watched the opening ceremony on Peacock and fell asleep because it was so boring. But uh, did some stories, uh, looked into some things. Uh, we have uh, a guest coming on tonight. It's a gold medalist from Canada. His name is Vincent Pacente, and uh, he's going to talk about DNA doping at the Olympics and the conspiracy that seems to be uh, accurate that we're seeing a lot of our athletes here in America being uh, quarantined because they take the, the vaccine test or they take the, uh, the, the test for COVID and they end up testing positive, keeping them from competing. Um, a lot of the uh, athletes are being kept in what are known as quarantine hotels. And there's also, it, they, they compare it to the Squid Games because they can't leave the compound to go enjoy China. They have to stay in this bubble. And there's like a Kentucky Fried Chicken, a Pizza Hut, and a, and a um, McDonald's. And that's the only food they have. If they choose to eat the food provided by the AOC, they get a bad thing of pasta, a few pieces of meat, and a, and a vegetable. And that's all they get to eat. It's horrible. So a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, people who are playing in the Olympics are angry about this. And not only that, but um, China during the opening ceremony did a lot of propaganda pulls by having a Uyghur like the, uh, the cauldron, but then she just disappeared from, from the spotlight. Nobody knows what happened to her. Um, and of course, China continues to be uh, a country that, you know, if you look at what they're doing to the athletes, if you look at what they're doing around the world, uh, this is how we are. Uh, we've ended up like this too. And it's because Western countries all followed what China was doing. And if you want to know the truth about the Olympics, the Olympics are simply an advertisement for the New World Order. They're simply an advertisement for the Fourth Industrial Revolution. It's been that way ever since the times of Hitler back in the 1930s, where he wanted to show off his Aryan uh, athletes. So tonight's show is called The Geno Olympics, The Geno Side of the Story, all about genotyping, DNA, uh, making athletes, they, they take uh, kids in China as little as four years old. They manipulate them uh, genetically and also they groom them for an opportunity to compete in the Olympics. It's something that, uh, it's a horror story. And so we're going to share that with you tonight on Ground Zero uh, with Vincent Pacente, who is a gold medalist, a speed skater, wasn't he, Ron? Mm -hmm. Speed skater from Canada who's going to be on the show to talk about how the Olympics have changed and how they are ultimate chaos and hell for a lot of people who participate. So join us tonight, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. for Ground Zero. We're on TalkStreamLive.com. Check us out live for the feed from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Also, that's Pacific time. Also, Aftermath.media is available for those of you that want to check in at Aftermath.media. Listen to the shows in a more convenient time. Otherwise, you can check us out at Ground Zero Radio. Uh, Dot, really? Ground Zero dot radio mm -hmm. or Ground Zero Media dot org. Or that stereo sound. Stereo sound for everyone involved. So, sure to check us out. We'll see you tonight on the show. It's going to be a great show. So stay tuned.